dividends the great part. We don't see with the great part, Lord. Amen. Welcome tonight. Another broadcast um, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for those who have been uh, watching, following. To God be the glory and also I give thanks to God for your presence, for your participation. May the Lord bless you tonight. To then once again I will share. Uh, the absence of gatherings does not mean that the eagles will not gather. Hallelujah. We are still gathering. The eagles are still gathering because we are not limited and we serve an unlimited God tonight. As we share, meet, and uh, to share that video, we believe that God is coming to visit with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Welcome, my friend. Uh, that I watch party share also subscribe to my YouTube Isaac Kwedaka for more teachings and I thank God thank God for this one that have been many followers and also feedbacks and testimonies and I thank God so I want us to pray even as we share the word of God tonight Father in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you for giving us this opportunity to share the word online thank you for giving us the opportunity to uh, be together in uh, service of God. We thank you Lord for your word. It says, Amen. Your word worked, O God. The centurion said, You don't need to come to my home, but just sent your word, and my son, my servant, will be healed. And so it was. And I thank you for your raising for yourself a church. Without us, you are raising a church that will only be, their only desire will be to know you. To seek you, to serve you, to follow you with all their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's why I pray tonight as I connect with those out there in the world, from Africa to Asia to China to, to, to America, Middle East and uh, Europe. Our oh God, I pray that your presence shall be with us, O oh God. Be magnified, be thou exalted. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Nashukuru mungu kwa kutia nafasi ya kushiriki tena. I thank God uh, for this week. I've been sharing and I've been sharing on the on contending for your destiny. Yesterday we had a, a very good time sharing together with us uh, concerning contending against uh, witchcraft, sorcery, divination and false prophets. Na nikasema kwamba kama kuna eneo watu wamenaswa wameshikwa wakagadamizwa waka na kufinyiriwa it's in that area haleluya na niseme kwamba usiku wa leo as we continue jana tulisoma kwenye kitabu cha Ezekiel wale ambao uliweza kusikiza kama kusikiza uh, that video is already uploaded on my YouTube channel na tukaweza kusikuongea kuhusu vile diviners huwa wana shona na wana wanatengeneza uh, uh, hilizi uh, wana huwa wale wanafaa kuishi na wana na wanasaza wale ambao wanafaa kukufa uh, wa, watu wengi destiny zao zimenaswa uh, tukasoma neno lile kwamba uh, they, they have uh, raids near for men na kuwafanya watu mateka na nikasema kwamba uh, watu wengi ambao wamenaswa kwenye maisha yao jamii nyingi zimenaswa uh, destiny nyingi zimenaswa na kama utaenda mbali lazima usi usi despise na usiishi in ignorance uh, paulo kaandika akasema that we should not live uh, 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 we should not be unaware of the devil's schemes nikwambia kwamba wherever you are amba bibi wetu wetu kule tumetoka background tumetoka tunaelewa hiyo mambo Na siku maisha kwa wakati umeokoka hiyo mambo huwa inaisha. They are witches. Just as you are serving God, the others who have given themselves to serve the devil. We let this scripture just recap. 
in the book of Ezekiel chapter 13, the Bible says, therefore, uh, uh, verse, verse 18, this is what the sovereign Lord says, woe to the woman who sew magic charms on all their wristbands and make veils of various length for their heads in order to ensnare people. Yeah? Ata vitaba wanazo jifunga. Kuna vile zinaongea. Wanava hirizi na wanafunga vitamba. Then what they, they do? You know to ensnare people. With, Will you ensnare the lives of many people? Of people but preserve your own? You make profane. You have profaned the, me among people for a few handful of barley. That's another characteristic here. Nikse wakamba diviners, false prophets, they are after their own gain. Hayuko naja na maisha yako, na jami yako. Kwaza kikupi maone kwa mba kuna vile, unatoku kuna pesa, kuna vile, uh, kuna wezo. Utakuwa victim, utanyonywa kunyonywa. Na iseme hili jambo limefanya, limekua changamoto sana hata kwa kanisa, hata ukienda kanisa genuine. Nimeshia ono watu umekuja kanisa ni hata kuwa washirika. Lakini anakuja, anakuja, mekanyaka pole pole, maana Kule alitoka, kuna vile vituko alifanyiwa. Uh, imefanya hata watu kwa wapa kujitolea. Na nikuambia kwa mba, uh, kila mara, much as uh, 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 injiri hiyo ya kutoa imehubiruwa na ikatungua vibaya. Ukweli ni kwa mba, ukikutana siku moja na, na kono manakupatie noti ya elfu moja ama miataba no fake. Siku marisha kwa mba, kuna pesa original, kuna zile pesa fake na original. All you need to do is to take a closer look. Hallelujah. Na vina sema kwa kitabu cha uh, Job, ya koba, do not ears taste words, just as like the tongue tastes food. Ni kwa bia ni mzuri. Aithango wanata zile experience, watu wengi wamepitia. Siku hizi di umefanya, kabra ufote mtu na msikiza vizuri. Unasikile jia na pitia. Hallelujah. But aithango, now, what they do, they, profane, uh, they have profaned me among the people for a handful uh, of barley and scraps of bread by right to my people who reset to rise you have killed those who should not have died and have spared those who should not live so the the spirit of uh the the uh, divineness near spirit ya yeah, deception jana kuna mtu comment ni kwa napitia comments za jana akasema kwamba brother yake aliambiwa kwamba ndivyo alifanya brother yake wakaambiwa kwamba huyo mke yako na yeye sio wake brother yake katupa watoto yeah. And it's deception. It's deception. It's deception. Watu kuja ati wanazunguka, ati wanatoa nini, wanaigia bedroom, wanatoa vitu. Uwa wakati, nisa wakati umeruhusu watu kama wale waingie kwa nyumba yako. It's a doorway you have opened for demons to harass, to visit you. You have created a legal crowd, a loophole. And you need to repent. You need to, to, to sort out that issue in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. So they, they lie to people. Uh -huh. What else they do? They kill those who should not have died and have spared those who should not live. That is verse 19 of Ezekiel 13, 19. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says, I'm against your magic charms with which you ensnare people like birds. I will tear them from your hands. I'll set free the people that you ensnare like birds. That's the good news I have tonight. That no matter what has been done against you, any sorcery, any divination, any enchantment that has been made against you, the Lord has promised to ensnare, to, 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 to break us free, to, to lose us from those bondages in Jesus' name. And tonight, as I preach tonight, are also declaring the word of divine uh, uh, deliverance in the name of, I'm, I'm coming to back, back there in a, in a moment. I'm doing just a recap. Then the Bible says, uh, I will tear off the veil and save my people from your hands. And they will no longer fall prey to your power. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you disheartened the righteous with your eyes. Uh, then uh, when I have brought them, uh, had brought them, them no grief. And because you encourage the wicked not to turn from their evil ways. Uh, and to save their lives. Therefore, you will no longer set, see false visions. Or practice divination. Ah, uh, yote kumasha mungu, hizo uh, wanaitaga raini. Najio kuna ingi ya mwani victims wa raini kiu. Master laina, hizo. Mungu wanaizda kufunga yu bingu juu yao. 
hizo divination wanafanyanga hizo raini na maraika Q ya au ambao wanatumiangwa nikwambie na kwamba Mungu anasema hivi that God he is coming to save the lives of those people therefore they will no longer see false divisions or practice divination I'll save my people from your hands and then you will know that I am the Lord na mimi naamini hivi ndio Mungu anafanya sasa hivi mimi mimi am not yet seeing this is the fact that kwamba kanisa limefungwa it's because this is one of the processes Mungu anatumia kuna sua watu kutokana na na diviners kwa sababu divination diviners wamekamata watu wengi sana ha? na one of the na, na ni kwambie kwamba kama sasa kuna vile diviners wao wanataka kuonyesha kama kwamba hao ndio alpha na hao ndio omega wanakwambia usipofanya hivyo moja inaandikia uh, 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 i've dealt with this kisa hata kama sasa hii kumefungwa makanisa moja kaniambia vile alienda mahali akatoa pesa lakini baadaye alipoambia toa pesa jili kwa 1000 ama 1000 yani mtu hata ametoa pesa kule amedanganywa baada akaanza kuona huyu mtu there is a problem there is a problem ha? akaanza kuonyeshwa akaonyeshwa kwamba alipokuwa anaingia kwa ile kanisa alikuwa na viatu akitoka akaona ametoka migotupu nikamwambia nikumaanisha viatu ulienda kule na injili ya kweli ukitoka the truth you knew ikakuwa strict ikaondolewa now we have to start a process kumwombea kumongoza vile atawe kaviomba kujinasua na madhabahu yale na that demonic manipulation ni sema kama mimi naamini kwamba even this season kuna watu wengi ambao wanafunguliwa macho kuelewa kwamba mambo yale wanaopitishwa ha hiyo mambo ya kuziwa maji kuziwa vitambaa mambo mengi mimi kama pasta nimekushuhudia mambo mengi watu wamekuja kwangu amejawa amejazwa na uoga anabwa kwamba ninakuambia wewe kama hutakuja kesho moja niambia kia alionyesha alitumia sms zile anatumiwa anaambiwa moja alikuwa ameambiwa kwamba <laughs> ya kwamba hii Mungu amenionyesha na this is what I'm talking about divination akamwambia ti Mungu amenionyesha ya kwamba wewe utakuwa ni kati ya wale watu wapata pata shida sana msimu huu wa corona na ninakuita ukuje kwangu ofisini saa nne na usipokuja kesho saa nne sijui nini nitatokea Ah nikamwambia hizo ndivitisha. Wakani sio akanipigia simu akiwa akiwa ameshtuka. Nikamwambia point number one, jambo la kwanza, do not give in to fear. The Bible says you are not been given a spirit of fear. Ukiona mahali unaenda kutishwa na na uoga, usipotoa ukifuta fanyika nini? That's a diviner's camp. Toka huko in Jesus name. Na nikamwambia kama umekuwa victim, ya kwamba unaishi na uoga, you, you should respect a man of God, not fear him. The only man the only uh, being you should fear is God. Mbibi yasema kwamba mimi hata yule mtumishi aliye juu yangu si mwogopi ninamheshimu kama mtumishi wa Mungu. Lakini kama mtumishi anakujasa na uoga. Anakwambia ukitoka hii kanisa utaenda kukufa. Please. That's a lie. It's divination. You need to detach yourself from such a place in Jesus name. Ha? Mtu ambaye anakwambia ti ana <laughs> Oi, I've met with many people watu wamefanyishwa vituko vingi sana. Ha? Wengine hata wanada wanaambiwa kwamba wakisema kwamba wako na shida sije wapati watoto. Wanaambiwa kuna wa, kuna kuna mambo watafanywa paka sexual. Okay, mambo sexual tidio wapate watoto. Wicked things. You don't deserve that. You trust in God. Na Mungu atakupigania kwa jina Yesu Kristo. So the Bible is saying in the book of Ezekiel 13 pale mwisho verse 20 ya sema therefore you will no longer be see those false visions and practice divination i'll save my people from your hands and then you will know that i'm the lord mimi na mimi atakusimu huu kuna watu wengi kwa sababu kuna watu ambao tuna communicate hata watu wengine tumekuta nao tafuta tu kwa social media and those are the kind of experiences wamepitishwa mingine tuko na shana yeye with that family the, the wife follows a diviner yeye anamfuata mungu anafuata mtumishi mzuri wa mungu nayo kwa muda every time alikuwa anambia niambia nyumba yake they have never known peace ha? kwa sababu yeye anafuata huyu mtumishi vile anavyosema eh wakati boss ndio fanya nini wanunue maji sijua mwaga wapi ha? kwa hiyo mambo ya kushinda umebeba anointing na maji wachana na hiyo mambo ya kushinda umebeba mwingine <laughs> ikuja kwangu akaniambia kwao wale wametoka huo wana wanabeba chumbi every sad kuliko kule nuliwa Magadi soda gunia 50 kg wanakamiwa hmm? 
ukienda kwa kazi jambo la kwanza kumwaga please wacha na hizo vituko ha? hata anointing oil hata kuna kileva imefika watu wana misuse anointing oil anointing oil sio mbaya lakini si sio kilo mara anointing oil anointing oil ukitoka kwa nyumba anointing oil ukienda kwa kazi please kuna kuna limit za kuitumia don't misuse it it is not an idol anointing oil sio maraika no let it be used as it ought to be ha nisi blood mafuta ni ite blessed isaac nisebe ukinunua hii mafuta hii mafuta iko na iko na ni ni ni, ni one ni kama ile dawa ile uzako na, na marafiki wetu inatibuko kila kitu inatubu malaria typhoid eh, eh, kizuguzugu kuumwa na meno bohogo please wacha na anointing anointing all uh, siko sisebe usitumie but use it when it ought to be used in jesus name it has been with me atamu to kuja inaanza kuambia mambo ya anointing oil anawaambia please tuachane na story ya anointing oil we need first of all grow in faith amini mungu kwanza before anointing oil yeso hata alipoanza kuponya watu hakuna mali aitumia anointing oil hapana anointing oil imekuja kutumiwa baadaye na kule beredi yeso hata hapo alikuwa kwanza alijambo la kwanza yeso alifanya ni ku build watu ha alipoita wanafunzi aliambia uh, follow me and I shall make you fishers of men. Hizo ni process tatu. Akawaambia come ni kuwait the first thing we done tulipoenda kanisani we are called out from the world. Na the church by the way the jina church ni inamaanisha called out to us. You are called out from the world. Yesu akasema come the second process is to be made. Then you can go out and fish men. You cannot be a fisherman hata mimi mimi sija ifanya fishing hata 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 kushika samaki moja sija sijui so mimi kila mahali kama kisumu uh, mimi ni 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 ni, ni, ni si, sijui chochote kuhusu hiyo mambo ni nahitaji kufuzwa now we come to church so that we can be trained wacha tu wacha kutengenezewa shortcut ya kwamba ya kwamba hata kama huja kwa kiroho bora kuna na kanoitik bol kwa hadi bagi yako na kama wewe uko unanisikiza na unakuwa na habit ya kuwa na kanoitik kila mahali waachana nayo it may become an idol haleluya seek for the true wine tafuta divine waachana na kiriba bwana yesu asiwe haleluya ni kama leo message yangu inaenda kwenda outpost vile nilikuwa nafikiria there is a scripture where inasema kwamba seek uh, seek the lord and live seek not be there Ha? wakati mwingine tuna, tuna we are seeking the wrong things in our life ha Mungu alikuwa anambia nitafuteni mimi sasa wacheni kwenda kutafuta Bethel unajua Bethel ni mali ambapo mtumishi wa Bwana mm, Jacob walikutana na Mungu watu wengi huwa wana idolize where they met first with God so Mungu akamwambia please stop seeking Bethel seek me and live says the Lord Bwana Yesu asiwe nikwambia hivi Yakoma Mungu anatamani sana. Anatamani kuona tukijitoa kwake, tukijiwachilia kwake, tukijipatia na kwake kwa mioyo yetu yote. Kwa sababu tukimtafuta yeye mwenyewe. Ah, Bibi inasema tuende tukatafute watu, tukatafute miujiza. Bibi inasema tu mutafute Mungu. Aidhango leo nilikuwa nasikiliza apostol akibid the many testimonies. Watu wana nandi online. Ah, watu wana wanakombolewa, watu wanapona Ha? na hatu hakuna uh, mtu umwekelewa um, mkono juzi last week nilikuwa na kubiri messages on 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 mystifying dreams na uh, ni soma testimonies kadhaa watu wengi hata wiki kuna watu ambao wametumia wame zile eh, testimonies na kaniambia wakati wakati ni baada ya kupata ile neno nilikuwa nahubiri the things that started happening aka akakuta ametapika mambo mengi akafanya kwa nyumba yake na kaza kusikia kuna freedom imeanza kuingia bwana yesu asifiwe so we we need to seek god ah we must seek not be there ah kwa sababu tukitafuta kitu ambacho hakiko ah mambo yale atatuletea tu shida bwana yesu asifiwe usiku ningetaka kukuambia ya kwamba mungu anatamani tumtafute kwa mioyo yetu yote haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe now siku ya leo ningetaka tuweze kuendelea uh, uh, i believe kuna mtu ambaye amefaidika you know sometimes the holy spirit will just lead you in a way you did not think 
ni kwambie kwamba Mungu kuna kile angetamani tuweze kuna njia angetaka angetamani tuichukue kuna mwelekeo Mungu angetaka tuichukue kuna njia Mungu angetaka tuichukue ambayo sio ile ambayo tumezoea aidha ngode kwamba kuna kuna njia ambayo Mungu anataka kui, kuna njia Mungu anataka kutuongoza ile njia ambayo hatujaifahamu ile njia ambayo hatujafikiria maana ni mwaminifu Bwana Yesu asifiwe now twende kwenye kitabu cha Nahum uh, the book of Nahum uh, chapter 3 Nahum chapter 3 Uh, na hum chapter 3 tutaanza mstari wake wa 4 na hum chapter 3 tutaanza mstari wake wa 4 al continue the same line nisema nitaendea na ile line bado that line of uh, kwa sababu hiyo ni watu wengi sana wamefungwa na watu wamekosa kuelewa kile Mungu anafanya na anatenda kwenye nyakati zetu now the bible says Um, Watendeze mstari wa 3 charging cavalry flashing swords and glittering spears many casualties piles of dead of, of the dead bodies without number people stumbling over corpses all because of the wanton rust of a harrow aruaring the mistress of sorceries who ensnares nations by her prostitution and peoples by her witchcraft bibi inataka kuongea leo kuhusu kushughulikia roho ya Jezebel the spirit of Jezebel another wicked wicked spirit that is operating in, even in our nation at a national level that is operating in our families that is even operating even the body of Christ operating even in families hallelujah bibi nasema there is a wanton that all because of the wanton rust because of the wanton rust of a harlot that unworthy mistress of sorceries who ensnares nations by her prostitution and peoples by her witchcraft the spirit of Jezebel The spirit of Jezebel Jezebel was the wife to uh, 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 to 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 the to the to to in the okay to get to pale you see some two things ndio tuweze kuelewa where i'm coming from ili kama ni sikuweze kupoteza ah ni kuonyesha vile shetani anaweza ingia na this spirit about it ingia wakati huu wa wafalme that spirit has it is still at work even today na nikwambia kwamba wakati ah uh, hii roho imeinuka mambo huenda visivyo because one of the spirit, one of the things that this spirit does hii roho ya ya Jezebel ni kwamba huwa ina, inafanya inaondoa mamlaka kwa watu wanaofaa na kuwapatia wasio wasio Ha? kuwapatia wasio mamlaka wanachukua mamlaka na nikwambia kama kuna roho imeinuka is that was the, in the days of of Ahab, Ahab who was the king then nisema kwamba Ahab was like a dummy king ama kikaragosi kikaragosi uh, kuna uh, kuna zile tunaita marionettes <laughs> marionettes uh, ku haifanyagi vile inataka kuwa kuna kuna waya kuna tu waya kuna tu uzi uzi huwa tumeshikwa kule nyuma ha? na tule tu uzi dito huwa tuna control kile kikaragosi vile kitakavyofanya kitakirusha wataka kinarusha mkono kinarusha kia kudance kuna watu wa, 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 ni masogora wa mba hiyo unaweza kuta kwa mtaa anaweka muziki Uh, arafu kile kikaragosi kinafanya kudance kinafanywa kudansishwa and it's a very funny scenario ukiona maybe wakidansishwa wakiwa wawili now that is much less the same how the spirit of Jezebel operates nabila sema kwamba it does not only ensnare families 
Etienne Snias kutoka kuku chini mpaka kule juu. The spirit of Jezebel ikingia even in an institution, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a workplace. Ya? Iko na roho ya kudominia watu. Ya? Roho ya kudominia, yani, hakuna mtu wanaweza kuinua kichwa. Watu wabawa wako mahali pale, wanaweza kuwa na potential kubwa sana. But because there is a spirit of Jezebel working there, the righteous are destroyed. Ya? na nimesema ni ni separate kidogo kwa sababu hiyo nilianza jana ya Ezekiel 13 na hii this is a higher level now you see which camp is not in one level see level moja they are in levels now this is a different level of which camp because it captures Jezebel who are in a target paka watumishi wa Mungu mtu ameokoka amependa Mungu if there is a spirit that seeks to destroy lives even men of God to destroy a church. It is this spirit. He did that he a kazi kule nje. He did so by Ezekiel 13. But Jezebel's spirit, 86, even kuingia pale kwa wadabahu. In fact, Jezebelic spirit is a parallel form of worship. Now, kiagadea kwenye kitabu cha kings. It was a parallel, it, it, it competes with God himself. It's a spirit that does not only Compete with men of God. It competes with, with God himself. Now, kiangalia nyakati za Elijah. This, those spirits iliko ime nuka, ime fika kwenye upeo waki. Such that uh, idol worship was almost legal. Kwa sababu, kitu chote bacho kime petition na mfalme, it becomes a room. Until a man called Elijah rose. Elijah, jina, Elijah ina, siyo jina tu. Jina Elijah ni namaanisha The Lord is God The Lord is God The Lord is God Hallelujah Na ni kuwabia mi naamini Ata nyakati ya bazo tuko katika Musimu huu Of the recent past Ukiangalia kumekua na kuinuka Na ni kuwabia one of the pillars Ukiona one of the Hizo ministers abazo zina operate Na witchcraft na divinus the core, kule chili, foundation yake ni the spirit of Jezebel. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is the spirit of Jezebel. It is a dominating spirit. It is a manipulative spirit. Mutu wa kikamatwa. Na nikuambia ata wale one of the arts za, za uh, watu wanafundishwa uh, uh, now and in the days past. Ata wale abawa anayadaga kwa, kwa wachawi. Wanasema mzee wangu wamekua mkari sana, wamekua mbaya sana, anipatii pesa. Anabio nita kupatia hii kono kosho, nita kupatia hii kitu. Wede mpatia, weke kwa chakula yake. That is nothing but the spirit of Jezebel. And I rebuke it in Jesus name. The spirit of Jezebel wants to take the place not only of God. It wants to take this, the, the, the position of God himself. It is a form of, uh, of human worship demonic worship it was to dethrone those who are supposed to be enthroned and so that it can take charge hallelujah bana isa siwe ni kuambia usiku wa leo the bible says ya kwamba mungu amekasirishwa pesa bii inasema hivi kwa kitabu cha nahu inasema ama genesis 2 verse 5 declares the lord almighty i will lift up your skirts over your face Anasema ni, ni, ni mekasirisho na wewe. Na niko kinyume na wewe. Na nitainua skat. Hii wanadada wainaza kuerewa. Ne, skat kuinurua ni kumanisha nini. Mibu ne bebaka skat kama kisi. Sio kalefu sana. Then, ile upepo inatokaka from nowhere. Inakuncha ukiwa katikati ya street. Skat inakuja uku kwa kichwa. You know that kind of a shame. Na amini, this is what God is saying in this season. That he is coming to unscut. Mungu atatuma upepo wa kisuri suri. For to every divination come. To every ministry that is operating by Jezebelic spirits. He is going to expose them. I will expose. I will, I will send. I'm against you against the Lord Almighty. I will lift up your skirt over your face. I will show the nation your nakedness. And the kingdoms your shame. I'll pelt you in field. I'll treat you with contempt. 
and make you a spectacle. All who see you will flee from you and say, Nineve is in ruins. Who will mourn for her? Where can I find anyone to comfort you? Niko pia kuna watu. Ata zile biyashara wanafanya. Unafanya kutia hii roho. Domin, unafanya hiyo domination. Kudominate, unakuta mtu na dominate even in a certain street. But that, ikide, ilo, ile gufu wanatumia ni hiyo. Ya de Jezebelis je, je, kids. Ambao inadominia in wickedness. Na kuvuta watu kwa biyashara zao. And it is wickedness. Let me give you this testimony. Ya mtu ya awa. Uh, about kitu nimedilu nasicho moja kwa moja uh, Mtu moja kakuja mm, Kauka ofisi Haka niambia uh, Alikuwa ataka kuchukua one of the main uh, streets hapa Hapa na kuru Nduka furani Na Makaenda na kazuka Zubuka tu kazubuka Kaona duka Na akasema Wakakubali yana talipa Like one day or after two days from that time Walipatala then akaenda nyumbani akalala alipolala aliambia usiku alitokewa na a very gigantic being alikuwa anaona maana alikuwa amelala anaona kimutu kirefu very weird kikamwambia wewe ati nataka kuchukua duka the main street hapa na kurudi Kenyatta inaitwa Kenyatta Avenue ati nataka kuchukua duka inaita Duka hapa Kenyatta Avenue. That power, I, I, I mean that was a principality, uh, that demonic principality. <coughs> Ika muambia, tatuta kupatia hiyo. Sisi diyo huwa tumeshika hiyo mita. Na sisi diyo huwa tunapapas, tunapatia wale watu tunataka kuwapatia. Wira mita. Wa. Ok. Akastuka. Bada ya kamka. Akashidi wa what was this. Ilo kuna vilo na amka asubuhi. Then, yeye akaenda kukutana na yule mtu. Kuenda ati kumulipa, ati kwa wapi tukutana, tumaliza hile deal. Aha, kama wabia, oh, pole, nili change mind. Eh, nili change mind. Hata duka isha alipwa na mtu mbina mtu mbina 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 na duka ni mepatiana. Aha, haka kumbuka hile doto. Haka kuja kwenye maombi. Kufuga na kuwamba. Sari, haka kuja haka shiriki na mimi that uh, episode. Ni kamambia sasa, that is the domineering spirit. Hiyo diyo watu wabawa wanafanya, ni kumesha wale watu wabawa wamefanya ile kazi wengi katika ile street. Ni watu wabawa wanatumia kufu zigine, siyo kufu za mungu. Na wea kwa sababu umeokoka, na ugetaka kuchukua mahali pale. Sasa kuna maru ambayo, because this is a, 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 it's a network, it's a demonic network. Ni kamambia tutakubaliana, na utapata hiyo duka. So, before the ile sikuwa leza kuomba, Kisha wakaenda, makaombea, leo nile, through direction, video wata wakaombea. So wakaenda kaomba, uh, and that was done. The next time, tukiongea na hei, siyo tu duka alikuwa mepata, alipata duka in a different way, in the same street. And after some very short time, siyo tu duka alikuwa na hei, alikuwa meweza paka kununua kiwanja, uko tu within the, the city center. What am I talking about? I'm talking about he chacha mungu anainua wakati huu. We must content for our destinies. Kuna maroho ya meinuka ata kwenye mabiyashara. Kuna maroho ya meinuka in kariya unakuta mtu wameka umeka job group K ama J ama L, whichever for all years. Wengine wanakuja badai. Dada nakuja hapo na wickedness and I entice because the, the Jezebelic spirit is a spirit of enticement. And I entice the boss at a sexually. Na kupatia pesa na nini. Ana kuja mempita. Ana enda bere. Unakute zile position zime na watu. Ni zile ya baso. Zida faa kuchukua na watu wenyaki. But because we are not fighting. We are not rising. Like Elijah. The enemy is taking charge. But I'm thanking God this season. God is raising a church. That is going to destroy, to silence this wicked woman, this wicked spirit that destroys families and destroys nations. Wakati taifa di meshukuliwa, di meshikuwa na roho ya Jezebel. Udakuta komba, mambo ya taenda visivyo, kuna mambo ya taanguka, kuna mambo abayo, 
utatazama unashanga what is happening what exactly is happening but I want us to rise in the name of Jesus spirit of Jezebel nabio bila usiku leo ni kwamba every man is a priest that you are supposed to be as a man rise up hata kama ni mke wako anafanya kazi na wewe ufanye kazi there is something you need to have a voice men need to rise up take because authority is given to men to to rule to 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 read families i thank god for the covid 19 imetusaidia sana imesaidia jamii nyingi sana because many of the fathers have been absent fathers you have, you your authority your presence is never felt make your presence felt over your sons and your daughters be there answer questions ask questions stamp your feet down give authority give directions in your home hallelujah the spirit of jezebel ikishika kampuni the wrong people will be promoted the spirit of jezebel ikishika county wrong decisions will be made miswada isiyo fa itapitishwa kwenye county government na hata kwenye akule juu even in the, in, the, in the national government how i pray that tutaungana vile tunaomba kutoka majumbani kwetu from wherever we are we are going to join forces and we are going to silence this force this domineering spirit this wanton rust of, of this wicked spirit the bible calls him a harlot the alluring mistress of sorceries who enslaves nations by prostitution and peoples by witchcraft in the recent past kuna katiba we thank god for the, the concerned minister alihusika sana ku kumaliza mambo ya pombe kwenye miji yetu kwenye vitogoji na watu wengi ambao wali walikutwa wakipika pombe muliona hata kwa, kwa mainstream media the kind of stuff ziwa zinatolewa kwa hizo pombe used pads panties za wanawake vitu chafu mipira imetumika zimewekwa kule ndani what is happening it is that spirit it is a wicked dirty spirit that what do what it is it enslaves people ina nasa watu kwa alcoholism ina nasa watu kwa prostitution ina nasa watu ka kwa madawa ya kulevia unakuta ibi nasema he enslaves and destroys nations by her prostitution ukiona kijana ati amefika alisoma primary vizuri akaenda secondary vizuri kufika third year third year in university anaingilia madawa ya kulevia that is the spirit of Jezebel na tunanasua watoto wetu ni we are declaring and we are speaking against them and declaring that the lord is going to expose eh, those drug barons this is it is the spirit of Jezebel the spirit of lesbianism homosexuality ambayo imeingia mashule yetu colleges and universities it is the spirit of Jezebel trying to destroy the young men their potential someone sent me uh, a, a, a very sad story of a uh, mtoto wake mtoto wake mwenyewe a very concerned parent and we continue praying with, for her vile ameingia kwa kwa lesbianism na na post paka kwa facebook na na post na ile sign yao na anasema kwamba ni wale wachache ambao they are segregated ya kwamba wanaona wao yeye orientation yake imekuwa to ladies all through wa watu waishi maisha yake na ameanzisha kama support group and she was sending me those screenshots of the messages from that daughter now you can imagine the pain in that parent oh may the lord deliver our young men our young ladies our children from drugs from sexual morality from pornography and stuff in the name of Jesus hallelujah that is a wicked spirit there's a incident that happened another time mtada mwingine akakuja kwangu na this was the story akaribia one of the days one of the holidays it was last year but one tuko 2020 so kulikuwa 20 2018 around here or home holiday at december now the sun uh and this to should teach us as as parents how we handle our children 
vile tu tumezoea hata vile tulikuta kufanywa nikaoba kama mko town unaachilia mtoto anaenda bibi kwanzi kwa kazi yake anaenda kishagi anaenda siji wapi kwa akaenda so this this woman akatuma mtoto wake kwa sister yake so it is the aunt to this boy na wali, mtoto alipoenda kule so wakakaa na ye, na kwa aunt yake november yote december ishi hapo na kwa sababu ni alikuwa busy eh, the mom uh, so january came Jerani pa kuja mtoto akarudi shule. But uh, kuna hii story mtoto wake alimwambia tu e, kama tu kupitia house ulikuwaje kwa auntie, kabla tulikuwa tu vizuri, tunadea vizuri. Uh, na one of the days hata auntie yetu tulipeleka kwenye huwa anaenda kusoma one of the Sundays, tukapeleka kule. Ah uh, tukakuta mama mwingine hapo, uh, ka kijiji kingine kako na hapo na ni Nairobi somewhere kwa ghetto. Akapelekwa yule ati mama akamuuliza ungetaka nini mtoto of course mtu wa class 7 atasema kupita class 8 akamwambia ningetaka kupita class 8 ni perform vizuri now the auntie alikuwa amepatia pesa ya kupatia yule muobaji na nikasema tujichuge sana watu wanajita waobaji na manabii go to an authentic man of god so akapatia na aka, kijana akapatiwa 500 this was the story now from the mother akapatia yule divina now the boy was performing very well sasa mtoto karudi January shule. Mtoto wacha aanze kudikrai. First term kashido mama kashido what what is this? Second term akarudi chini. Mtoto alikuwa akakula juu akakunja katikati akishuka by second term kufunga the, now the parent dia kaona wa there is a problem here. Akakuja maombi akuja kani hadithia that story akaniambia now the boy told me yakoba kuna pesa alipatiwa akapatia na kwa divine nikamwambia that is where the deal was sealed mtoto wako kuna demonic exchange ilifanywa and watch this si tutaanza maombi mkuja maombi over na hii direction kwa kupatia direction hiyo ya ku deal na the spirit of Jezebel because the spirit of Jezebel huwa inamaliza the virility ukiangalia wale watu <laughs> wale wanaomba walikuwa na sabu Jezebel ni lazima wangekuwa ni matowashi ma, ma, ma wanaume ambao wametolewa wa, wa sehemu zao za sili that talks of the virility the, the man power of a man anaondolewa now the spirit of Jezebel works much the same so unakuta bwana watu walikuwa na sabu those eunuchs uh, walikuwa ni, ni wanaume kwa juu kwa uso lakini hakuna uh, kitu aha uh-huh mtoto amedecry tukaomba na ma- maombi nikamwambia nika nikamwombea nika nika baby utakavyoomba na kukaso hiyo transaction ilifanywa na hiyo dhabihu aliyokuwa imetoa mahali pale na tukaachana kutoka hapo mtoto aka join aka alikuwa class 6 akakuwa hiyo ni class 7 class 7 amedecry kabisa baada ya ile maombi mama yake akanipigia simu after like one two months akanebea by the time they cross the, 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 the school that now kumalizia wa mwaka that side it's like wali imepita sasa now the cross of the next uh, uh, ndio class 8 mtoto wake alipatiwa award kwa shule ya the best improved child in the school kutoka back, uh, top uh, bottom 3 akaenda paka juu and she was so excited because the alikuja wakati ipo kuja incident alikuwa anahubiri hii message in a different version na akaniambia wakati ulihubiri ndio mambo hiyo yote ilikuja nikaconnect nikaelewa nikamwambia now that's the way na ni mambo ya nilapo ya shiriki mimi na nataka kukunenea wewe uliyonai nisikiza yakoba Mungu akakufungue kutokana na vifungo vya Jezebel those spirits that destroy families utangaze kwamba your marriage shall not be destroyed by the schemes of the enemy watoto wako hawatanaswa nikwambie unapopeleka mtoto shule that's why i always say you know wakati mwingine tunachukonga sisi christian tunachukonga mambo ya dhabihu na wepesi sana but other religions don't they take those things very seriously yakobo unaweza tafuta pesa nyingi sana za kupeleka mtoto shule but you cannot take an an a, a, a sacrifice to the altar ya kusema huyu mtoto wako anapoenda university na mtolea hii dhabihu na kumuombea na kumpeleka kwa madhabahu aombewe haleluya 
It is only we Christians to not kwenda kwanza biashara. Pastor anakuja kujua mambo ya biashara miezi sita baada ya kazi kufunguliwa. Na na maybe pastor hata kujua kwa sababu ndio ati aweze kwa sababu kuna mambo makubwa anahitaji. That voice of the servant of God and I'm talking about a genuine servant of God. Hiyo tu baadaye utaongea na ku, na ku dedicate ile biashara na kuinenea na kuambia utaona ile mabadiliko utaona hapo. Because every other every other religion ni mesha hii kitabu mtu mmoja alikuwa amejiliwa mahali fulani na na, na kampuni fulani na race fulani ambao wana wana subscribe to other certain altar it's not good to mention altars na watu na what they ascribe to lakini alikuwa ananiambia she was a secretary in that office in that company and nalikuwa nahusika na mambo ya pesa alikuwa ananiambia ikifika ni mwisho wa mwezi kuna pesa sikuwa nafanywa rituals kuna pesa mpya zingekuja zinapelekwa mahali chini mahali kuna madhabahu wameweka miungu yao pale pesa zote za kulipa wafanyi kazi zinawekwa pale alafu katikati ya zile pesa kuna tola noti ya 1000 ya 500 ya 200 150 zinafanywa kafara fulani zinalaruliwa zinatupwa kwa choo na choo inakuwa fresh mambo anayoona yeye mwenyewe sasa this is the sad story about everyone who would work in that company Hakuna mtu angejisaidia watu hata akiniambia akitoka huko alihesabu ile miaka amekaa kwenye kwenye ile kampuni akakuta isipokuwa kulipa nyumba bus fare na kuvaa there is nothing else unakuta mtu anakaa mahali kwa miaka ishirini. akifanya kazi anatoka nyumbani akitakapoenda litaka kwenda nyumbani anaenda na baisikeli na anarudi nyumbani na kastop na kale kale kastop alienda nako Nairobi kalikuwa kagiri na kikadinua kameisha kama toboka kama inama hivi ha. kale kastovu ka kizimwa inakuwa ni kama process ya kuzima moto step 1 toa injet step 2 shika maji na kikombe step 3 make sure kuna dust hapo karibu step 4 weka maji kwa kikombe kwa mkono piga hatua mbili kisha ufanye <laughs> Unakuta <laughs> mtu ako levo ile na amekaa kwa kwa certain people maybe it's in the certain it's a institutional organization company it's because they are operating from an altar and we Christians we don't know how to operate from our altars may God open our eyes in Jesus name if you're going to make it to deal and to counter because when the man of God Elijah came He came to counter the spirit of Jezebel. Hallelujah. Naona muda wa kuenda kuisha. But I want to declare tonight to anyone who is under the influence of Jezebel, spirit of pressing spirit, intimidating spirit, the spirit of evil domination, the spirit of evil manipulation, ni lazima ituachilie katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ni lazima uji ujitanzue Mesio vita physical ni vita vya kiroho rise up in prayers rise up in warfare rise up in purity Okay weka standard especially utakatifu utaweza ku na roho ya Jezebel because the spirit of Jezebel it is a wanton it is of rust it is of harlotry it's an alluring spirit uh, it is a, a very deceptive ukiangalia wakati mtumishi ambaye alienda kuua Jezebel The Bible says Jezebel alirudi ni avoid kusoma scripture nyingi lakini utajisomea maana nimesoma utajisomea Bila sema Jezebel alirudi kwa nyumba cha ndani akajipondoa akajipaka alafu akatokea kwa balcony Sasa mnataka kuwa leo picha Of course kuna vile the cabby figure ya Jezebel Alafu maybe najua kwa mkuu ba hako na vile gwa mrefu bana kuna vile alikuwa amevaa. Alafu akakanyaga katokea kwa Jezebel akauliza who is this? Nani wanakuja? Yaani it was it is a very deceptive spirit. Nae mtumishi mkuu alipokuja akauliza who is on my side? Akasema arushu, akarusha kutoka pale juu, akaanguka chini, akapasuka pasuka, akaliwa na umbwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka kuambia this is the season God is coming to judge the spirit of Jezebel that deceptive spirit about Shikata watawala sikia bibi ndio amesema he enslaves nation 
in her prostitution. Prostitution is not only ile ya 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 ya, ya tunajua ya kawaida. Prostitution is also about a uh, uh, prostituting a uh, worship to na, uh, watu wanaenda exchange the true worship watu wanaanza kuworship miungu mingine. Watu wanafuga majini. Watu wanafuga wana, wana hirizi. Uh, watu wanafanya biashara kwa kwa kumwaga chumvi hapo nje na kumwaga sijui mafuta ya nini na kufuga vitu vya ajabu mazinga ombwe that is harotry na likopi this is the season mungu anakuja kujudge all forms of wickedness idol worship manipulation domination even in politics even in the nation hata kwa county government kwenye mabiashara there is an overturning and overturning and overturning that is happening when gine we are we are we are rightfully denied the promotions that are duly ours we are supposed to receive that promotion imeshikiliwa because there is someone using the spirit of Jezebel may the lord judge them and according to the word of the lord in the book of Nahum chapter 3 verse 5 i'm against you the bible says i'm against you declares the lord almighty i will lift up your skirts nataka tutangaze usiku leo that the lord is lifting up the skirts over the faces of everyone that is using Jezebel's spirits he will show the nations the weak the nakedness nataka watajulikana kile wamekuwa kifanya mambo wakati mwingine huwa inajificha sana lakini sasa mungu anakuja ku expose every kind of evil kile watu wamekuwa kifanya wengine wameshika hata washirika na divination na his spirit wengine wanaoparate na na, na, na pete wengine wanaoparate na na, na, ku, na kumeza vitu na kulishwa vitu ha? kuna mtu anaoparate under covenant anatumia biblia na yesu na mambo kama hayo na na hakuna wakati tunasikia kimetaja shetani but it is this spirit operating may the lord judge hata wale ndugu zeku wameshikwa na madhabahu kama yale your husband your wife your children because ni, 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 ni network inashika mambo mengi sana may the lord deliver our nation may the lord deliver our families we are contending for the destinies of our family for the destinies of our nation for the destiny of our leaders jacob hawataongozwa na roho ya jezebel inakuwa kwamba wakati ahab alikuwa anatawala ahab was a dummy king he was just sitting on the throne he was there but he was not there actually the one who was calling the shots alikuwa anafanywa kama remote control alikuwa anafinywa fanya hivi atisa wao unalia unalia nini na na bodha na kakata na, na shamba wachana mimi ni wachie yeye enda ukule na ukunywe we refuse the spirit of Jezebel in our families in Jesus name in our nation in Jesus name i want to conclude tonight's session dealing with the spirit of Jezebel in the series contending for our destinies need us to claim our pos our positions and our portions in the name of Jesus Jezebel ananyang'anyaga watu vitu vya utajiri ambao ulikuwa wa, 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 wa na ulivi ha? na a, 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 Jezebel angetaka uuze shamba la mizabibu kupandwa eboga and you, you know that, that, that's a very serious transaction ndio maana unapoona ukiaguka kwenye dhambi ya sexual morality that's how cheap you become yani can imagine exchanging you know wine is something that is very valued valuable it's very valued Imagine exchanging at the upande terere sageti managu hapo we had Jezebel and anataka a demonic exchange that which is valuable o exchange kwenye altar ya kitu ambacho ni cha buri may the lord deliver us from the spirit of Jezebel his enti her enticements her, her divination her sorcery in the name of Jesus nataka tuweze kumaliza session ya usiku leo lakini mimi naamini kwamba there is a transaction happening in the spiritual realm in this season wakati wa bobu tunakutana kwenye kanisa hili la la la, la online this worship service mimi na mimi kuna mambo Mungu anafanya kuna watu Mungu anafungua macho bwana Yesu asifiwe wengine atahuja wao ya rais ya kwamba you have maybe atadi unakuja kuna na ikweli imekaa your job group for so many years why should i be in this position wengine wanakuja wanapita wengine wanakuja wanakupita pale that is a spirit that is operating in that institution in that college in that place wherever you are may the lord deliver you in jesus name nataka tuweze kuomba usiku leo katika jina la yesu kristo and as we pray i believe that you you are blessed 
Nanamili kwa mungu atazidi kupatia ufunuo zaidi You know uh, The Bible says we even know We know it part uh, We understand it part Lakini wamu takatifu tusaidia kuatastand In fullness Mibi ni nakupatia tamifano mwidi mitatu uh, Mibi ni kipatia mpafano moja wangu ya jamboja ni yelewa siku moja Lakini inaona muda yetu umeenda Lakini kwambia kwamba Kile nacho kufundisha hapa Ni mambo bao nime, 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 nime pitishwa mwenyewe na mungu ni kaelewa Mengine mungu ya nimeniletea watu Haka nifundisha uh, You know wakuna shukuri Shule inaitagwa school of ministry Mungine mungu na kupitisha nga One on one Mengine na kuletea watu Unapo, unapo anza kufanya kasi ni mtu Roma takatifu anza kupatia ufunuo muulize hili swali mupeleke hivi unapata Mungu anakupatia scripture hivyo that's how the holy spirit works na mimi nashukuru bwana nimeona kesi kama zile za men za family za watoto wamekamatwa na yale maro hallelujah very stubborn and wicked spirits that destroys marriages destroys wives destroys husbands destroys the the, the, the fruit of, of, of the womb destroys the leadership Ha? It dominates leadership From the back seat Lakini anafaleti kile kinafanjika kule mbele May the Lord deliver even this nation From this spirit in Jesus name Nataka tuweze kwamba usikuwa leo kwa jina isu kristu Nataka kuhunenea baraka Na ushindi usikuwa leo In the name of Jesus Christ Na tokuta na hapa kesho tutaedena the same topic I'll get even deeper than that uh, In the name of Jesus Christ and of the living God Na naamili kwamba even as we 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 let's for the to the for for the night Roho Mtakatifu atakusaidia kuelewa mambo mengine zaidi ya vile ninavyokufundisha but for now i'm declaring as a servant of god that the lord has declared in the book of nahum chapter 3 verse 5 that the lord is against the lord god might is against that spirit and he will lift up the scars over their faces he will show the nations the wickedness and the nakedness of that spirit and the kingdoms will show will be shown its face the lord will pet it with fear and he will treat it with contempt and make it a public spectacle in the name of jesus christ baba nakushukuru kwa sababu hilo neno lako usiku leo as we continue this series of of contending for our destinies there is this wicked spirit called the spirit of Jezebel that operates in families, operates even at a national level, at an international level. The spirit of seduction, the spirit of witchcraft, the spirit of evil domination, the spirit of holding men uh, captive, destroying their virility, removing authority, the, the, the right people in authority and putting the wrong people in authority. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak according to your word that is written in this book. Of Nahum chapter 3 from verse 4 all through to verse 8. I declare so shall it be over this family, over this young man. Kama kuna kijana menaswa, na haya maroho, na haya madhabahu, ni natangaza it shall not be so anymore. Na nasua huyo mume, huyo muke, wala bawa menaswa, na roho ya Jezebel, kila bawa wanasikia kuta kufuta bangi, kufuta, kunyo pombe, kutumia madawa ya kulevia. I release them from that bondage in Jesus name. Nani natagaza usiku wa leo. That may this marks the beginning of those men going back to their destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, naombea wote ambao mbibi wa mesha anguka wakanaswa na ule mtego wa, wa, wa divination wa his spirit ya, ya, ya Jezebel na wanasua kutokana na vitisho na maneno ambao huneno na makuhani wale wakiwatishia kwamba kwa sababu waliwawacha na waliondoka wataanguka watabackslide wata hawatafanikiwa na odoa kila laana ya manabii wa uongo ambao hutumia hii roho ya Jezebel i refute every tongue that has spoken against you every enchantment every arrow that have been sent against you to bring it, uh, 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 premature death to bring sickness to bring oppression, ushidu na kuomba, kusoma neno, ushidu na kukonsentrate na kazi, ni natangaza na ni naondoa makari ya kila mishare, video tupa kinyube na wewe. Natangaza usiku walea kwa mbao kuhuru, na mungu ata kupigania. Nani kwa jina isu kristu, ni naomba na kushukuru. Amen. God bless you so much. You can send your feedback on my inbox. Uh, today is Sunday. Today on Sunday, you can give an offering. Through number yangu inakuwa gahapo chini God will bless you in Jesus name Na niseme hivi, kesho tutakutana I'm taking it to another level tomorrow Kuna mbao mingina mbao itashugulikia In the same line uh, In a different plane now 
in Jesus' name. God bless you so much. Have a blessed night. May the word of God continue building you up. May you continue getting rooted. May you continue getting builded up in the name of Jesus Christ. Na nami tutapo kutana kesho. You'll have a testimony. You have any question, you have any in the comment, any uh, any contribution, uneza tuba kwa inbox, nitaisoma. Uh, I'll see what I can do about it in Jesus' name. God bless you so much. Have a blessed night. Amen.